Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we would learn how to implement a queue using array. So first we need to understand what is a queue and then we would solve the question. So let's start. Basically, a queue is kind of a pipe. Okay. Now what I mean by this is basically you are entering elements from this side that is push. Okay. Now basically the elements would enter like this and you can remove elements that means pop elements from this side. So this is kind of a queue. Now basically Q follows the principle of FIFO. FIFO means first in, first out. That means whichever elements it is entered first would exit first as well. Okay. So this is what a Q is. So I hope this concept is clear to you. Now let's solve the question. What you need to do is you need to go to the practice portal. In practice portal in the difficulty section choose basic. Okay. Then you need to find the problem. Implement Q using array. Once you find the problem, you need to click on solve. Okay, so I hope this is clear. Now let's solve the question. Okay, here is the question. Let's read it. Implement a queue using an array. Queries in the queue are of the following type. 1x, a query of this type means pushing x into the queue. 2, a query of this type means to pop element from the queue and print the popped element. Okay, I hope the question is clear to you and we would be coding it over here. Here, here and here. Okay. So, let's start. Let's solve the question. Just give me one minute. You need to start from here. I would make a function def in it. Okay. And over here, I would declare self. Okay. Then colon enter. Now, I need to declare some values. Q is equal to blank. Enter self dot rear okay is equal to what zero enter self dot front is also equal to zero basically rear is the back side and front is the front side of the queue okay now let's start with the queue function enter over here over here i need to write self dot q okay what do i need to add in q i need to append x right so x enter and self dot rear equal to equal plus one that means one element has been added in the queue okay so i hope this is clear now let's go to the pop function right now remember one rule it is similar to stack you cannot pop an element from the queue until you have checked if it is empty or not because if the queue is empty then you know you cannot pop any element from it so remember that point so let's start from that if self dot front okay equal equal to self dot rear okay that means that means there is no element in the queue so return with minus one okay enter backspace okay one minute one minute let's go here now i need to write else colon enter now else if there is an element present in the queue then temp equal to self dot front remember uh, you know it follows P4 so the first element that uh, has been entered in the queue would be the first to be removed right so self dot front okay enter next would be self dot front then over here I need to write plus equal to one enter what next I need to return with some value that is self dot q okay over here I need to write temp right okay now i need to check if the solution is correct or not so i would click on compile and run so let's wait let's see compilation is completed my output is matching with the expected output so now i would submit the given problem okay so let's wait Problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve the practice problem. Implement Q using array. I hope this video was helpful for you and you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure you click on the like button. And thank you for joining me today. Thank you.